Next thing I know, the Lord's just showing me, I have equipped and prepared you for here. And every experience, every job, everything I've ever had in life has equipped and prepared me to be here. They're, when they come home, that this is their place of peace. You know, you have all these demands of everything coming on you. What can I do to help ensure that peace in that place? This is my favorite place to go to listen to God. What can I do to protect that, to make sure that that's where He wants it? This is the kind, He's the real deal with every person He's with. And that's the way God is. There's not any one of us that's less important. Well, you take care of that. You're out of this. Get out. You know, we're going to deal with the importance. Get out of the way, you know. Not with Dr. Savelle. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Winning Conversations. We are so happy. We are right now in the middle of the Legacy Series. And that is really a series that's dedicated to the legacy of Dr. Jerry Savelle. That is mm -hmm. the obviously the late apostle of our house that we adore so much. And part of this series is really just diving into those that were closest to him that can just pull back some of the layers of who he was and the experience. And we have Mr. Scott Tripp. How are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. You and Andy, how are you? I'm sorry, I'm I didn't. Great, <laughs> I'm good. I thought you were gonna forget me for a I second. I would never. I would never. I w I wanted to say because you're someone who is so unique because you've been around for a while but you mm -hmm. kind of hang out in the the back end of it more yeah. like you know so if you could what is your technical title we're laughing yeah. about what is the title uh property manager security so I, property manager security yeah so i cover everything that has to do with the properties um for the ministry all the campuses um his personal residence um it's anything and everything maintenance construction any details um uh, whatever needs to be done mm -hmm. that's so. awesome how long have you been here yes. it'll be 29 years this fall golly i i am always blown away by the people who have been here for decades yeah it, this church is just powerful that way people Faithful. get here they don't leave it's yeah amazing <laughs> it's just a testimony to the, the fruit that's here anyway but you didn't come here intending on working for the ministry you came here for no. other reasons right i came here uh in 1995 um my wife and i had uh, just recently got married. In fact, going back a year, we came to the 94 Believers Convention. So that's 30 years this this year. Wow. Just and some context, I was born in 94. Wow. So that's a long time okay. to be serving a ministry. I was a couple of years before you. <laughs> so uh, we're at the convention and Dr. Savell during the convention announced he's going to start a Bible school and they just purchased this property. And I heard the Lord say, and that's where I want you to go. And I was like going, uh-oh. I got another plan here that I thought I was working that you were having me go do this, this, this. And I had my own business. I had a building that I was going to be building for uh, a big project that I was working on. It was kind of come back from the convention and break ground. And here in Kansas. In Kansas. That's where I'm from. My wife's from Kansas City, Missouri. So, uh, And then he's also said, uh, oh, and by the way, I was there with a young adult group from our church. And my wife, Bridget it was going to be my wife <laughs> so i just trusted god when it happens you bring it about and mm -hmm. and he brought that about through the next year and we came here in 95 and um when dr Swell announced this school i was like going okay i gotta i know your voice i know this is what you want me to do so we come here and um we're starting classes and we're going through that and then it's announced that uh Dr. Spell realizes that what they're doing in one year, they can't effectively do the way he's wanting this imparted to students. They're going to go to a two-year curriculum. So there's the Bible Institute, and then there's a School of World Evangelism. Well, I came for the School of World Evangelism for in the breakdown of what the school was going to be about. I got a strong foundation. I had an excellent pastor that had been just building that in my life over the years. And so... Uh, I thought, I need to know how to start a ministry. I need to know how to, um, the, you know, the administration of that, how that, mm -hmm. how does that go about? What do you got to do legally to set all this kind of stuff so up? The because practicals of ministry. Yeah. I had 75 acres that I was um, wanting to build a, uh, a Votech type school and uh, have it for outreaches, uh, for churches to come to, for camps, for people to come to. They need a cabin. I just need to get away from God. 
I just know what that meant to me to have a place to get away and get quiet with God. And I'm an outdoor kind of person, so when you have a place that's all timber and great lake on it that you can fish and just get away and have some downtime, Mm -hmm. that's what this place was. And so that's what my goal in my business was to be able to build this. And so I'm here and uh, wanting to learn that. Now we're going to go to a two-year. Well, (laughs) the first year was nine months. Okay, wait a minute. i got to hang out and be here another year. So um, Dr. Savell had been ministering about the favor of God Mm -hmm. in uh, in the classes and the vision of the ministry and how to uh, process all that and all the avenues. It was just so big that I didn't even realize how big. I I really didn't know that much about Dr. Savell. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'd read one of his books years ago and uh, I saw him at the convention. I'd listened to a tape series, which is still my favorite teaching of all time from Dr. Fell is the Knowing God series. Mm-hmm. And to know him, to um, to know that you know how to hear his voice, mm-hmm. that he is the maker and creator of everything that wants to individually know me and my ins and outs and have that relationship that it's not somebody else that you're going to to get that information. I can go directly to him and just yeah. really be comfortable in that. How to sit and be still. That was probably the biggest thing that I gleaned from that is um, your mind will be racing in all these thoughts and here's the problem, here's the situation, here's the decisions I've got to make and you're just doing all this in your mind and wait a minute, i got to be still, shut up, quit, stop. <laughs> and, then, and then suddenly the Holy Spirit says, and I want you to go to that school. You know, how, how do you, but I know your voice, how, but I've got all this going on. What's So I go back home and pray and Okay, Lord, I can't go this year, but I commit to go next year. And that's when we came to 95. So and You've been here ever since. <laughs> well, it was just after a few months. Um, I couldn't sleep one night, and so I'm up praying, and, and it's like seeing the vision of this ministry. And it was something more than just seeing, here's a ministry that has this vision and all these things. There was something more here. And next thing I know, the Lord's just showing me, I have equipped and prepared you for here. And every experience, every job, everything I've ever had in life has equipment prepared me to be here. And it, I was just like going, okay, uh, shift paradigm, <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I just said, okay, Lord, if that's what you want me to do. And that's and I'd come to a place in my life, but if the Lord says, give up everything, do this, walk here, do that, I'm doing whatever he tells me to do. I, sure. Nothing's going to own me. Yeah. Nothing's going to be more important than that. I said, okay, Lord, um, I, I lay everything down. I lay down the vision that I believe you'd given me to build and do this camp. And um, they'd actually been teaching in, in class that uh, no greater way to fulfill your mission mission is to get involved in someone else's ministry that has a like mini- like thing here, that God will fulfill everything in you to be able to accomplish that vision. So I said, I lay it down and, and I call myself into this ministry to fulfill and complete everything you need me to do, and I will only do that. And this thing just lifted off me. I went back to bed. I'm out. Okay. Wow. I didn't that way. Yeah. <laughs> so next day in class, uh, class is over, and uh, the dean of the school, Dean Powers, says, uh, I need uh, Scott Tripp and Jack Pigeon to come to my office after class. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm, okay. <laughs> so I come into his class and into his office, and he goes, Dr. Svell asked to, uh, if I get a couple of students to work part-time after school. Would you be interested? Uh yeah. Yeah. He goes, well, you want to go home and pray about it? I, go, oh, I did last night. Uh, I didn't tell him that, but I'm thinking, no, yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm here to do whatever <laughs> oh I need to do. God, you know? yeah. So it was, just, it, it was God confirming his word. Right. It wasn't me sharing, hey, I think God's going to have me do this and that. You know? And I'm a type of person that when God shows me something, I, I don't tell others. I don't talk about it. In fact, I didn't even tell my wife the conversation that I had with God the night before. I come home and said, well, here's what's happened. And she says, wow, okay, well. That's what God's wanting us to do. I, I believe we're going to be here. It's, it's really a testimony to the obedience side of like when you know that you know that you know and you have that relationship to know his voice and then just trust. I mean, that's so hard for so many of us. To and like, I can say that. I have my own idea and vision and I'm yeah. like, oh, you must be wrong, Lord. The knowing, I mean, ser- yeah, God's, the yes. knowing God series really honed that in on me. Mm-hmm. I had already developed that to a certain place, but how to really... I know that I know, mm-hmm. and that really helped me in uh, doing it. So I can say that 
that uh, solidified that in me. And so that's what I say. That's my favorite teaching because once you know the will of God, and this is what they taught in school, once you know the will of God, then you do everything you can to accomplish that. And then the other side of Dr. Swallows, and you never quit. Yeah. You just never quit. So there's These a simple. classes are still available for those who want that. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. It, take is take the Bible the school. school. <laughs> the Bible school is still alive and Amen. Yes. Doing Amen. fantastic. Yeah. And if this is the fruit of it, get on board. Um, right. Amen. And it kind of leads into the next part of it, which is like what your service here. And I don't want to encap, but like ministry of helps. Is what yeah. We, we talk right. about. Sure. People don't realize how important helps are to a ministry. Like when you think of fivefold ministry, you don't helps doesn't really right because I feel like when you think you're thinking you're on the pulpit, you're you know you're the one that's the face, but there's a whole yes. army of people bringing up the yes, you you know what I mean? I exactly. It's like you just don't think about how important the people that help ministries are. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You just and but that's been your role now right. for. 29 years well actually all my life okay perfect uh, if anything i look at my life uh as my earliest memories and i truly say my earliest memories can i help mm -hmm. can i help can i can i come help you can i do this i was i'm inquisitive my mind's been on i'm a i want to learn everything and i cover every field of trades everything why because i'm inquisitive I'm, i got i was born with tinkeritis <laughs> so I like to t I like to take everything apart. I want to figure out what's how does this work. I, mean, I was like, what is that? Uh, <laughs> okay, I okay. like to tinker with yes. things. <laughs> so uh, that uh, that that part I've never just heard of that. Ah, that's great. <laughs> the people that are like me yeah. identify with that. Yes. So uh, you know, your brain works in a certain way. You're inquisitive. You're just that way. And uh, you know, I'm not a person that's into a lot of things that other people are. I and mean, we all have giftings and talents that are all unique to each other. But that's what really drove me. And so uh, I'd always want to be helping somebody, coming to help, and I'd get in trouble. you got to quit doing this. you got to charge people for this stuff, yeah. you know. Uh, I, I do it because I love to do it. I love to help people. And mm -hmm. so um, God put that in me, and I'm not going to distort it and change that. So um, I'm just going to be who I am and like me or love me and, or don't. I don't care. So things can happen in a 29-year span, mm -hmm. right? So that's a long time. What has kept you serving in this ministry specifically and serving Dr. Savell specifically for that long. This is what the Lord told me to do. And he never said that's it. Yeah. It's as simple as that. This, I know that he said serve Dr. Savell. Now I can say this, this was the desire of my heart before I came here in the mid eighties. I was just pouring myself out to the Lord. What's my purpose? What's, what's life? Why is the world so messed up? You know, mm -hmm. why can't you just zap fix this year? God, well, <laughs> no, he's only God of law and order and he's put things in place and he has given us the authority and the power to live our lives here, just like Jesus did. And Jesus said this, I'll, you'll do greater things. Well, tilt, huh? I've not walked on water. I've not you raised somebody <laughs> from the dead, and I'm going to do greater things. That's that's what we look at. No, yeah. we're going to do greater things. So we can we can reach so many more than what he reached. So um, that part of it just um, really was so simple for me to um, break it down into that simplicity. Um, you told me this is what you wanted me to do. I'm going to go about doing that. So I'll be doing that with my life. Everywhere I've worked, I've served everybody the same way with no less intensity. I didn't come here and say, okay, I'm going to really crack my whip and get myself tightened up and I'm going to do things right. No, I've lived this way all my life. I've got, I've taken a lot of persecution because why? When you have a high uh, work ethic, uh, I don't know how many times it was like, quit. You're making us look bad. <laughs> uh, I'm 14 years old. You guys are adults. You sh I'm doing more work than the four of you, you know? Uh, so, you know, it comes with the, the decision to do that and do things right. And I, um, But I think people get can get bored or be like, Oh, God's calling me here or here. But you know what I mean? But it's, I'm, I don't know. I don't deal with that. Yeah. Um, like I said, maybe, um, my makeup makes me a little bit different in my processes and how I do things. Um, I'm the kind of guy that says I started, I'm going to finish it. Yeah. I learned that from my dad. You're going to do something, do it right. Sure. Yeah. Well, That's it. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's a lot easier when you're around an excellent ministry. Yeah, it is. It, 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 that it, is it, true. It helps yes. tremendously. I mean, yes. I, I've 
when it, when there's lack, then you search. But when there's not lack, you're not searching. Right. And you know, Doctor Savell's ministry has been lights out for. I mean, you know, it was just a powerful ministry. Yeah. And so, kind of part of that is like you're there for 29 years, mm -hmm. like close to Doctor Savell. Mm -hmm. Like, what was something significant that you received from him that was that so many of us that didn't have that relationship might not have seen? Right. Trust. Um, I'm here just a short time. This ministry is fluid. I mean, there's people in every position. It's operating in excellence. Man, I was just like crying out to God. Could I serve somebody in ministry that's doing something that is going to be at the end of my life? I could say, you didn't spend it in vain. Yeah. There's something actually being accomplished in the kingdom of God, and I don't want to do anything less. And so I would say, there's people out there that are doing this work surely they got needs they can't be out here doing all this work and go home and say oh and the, the yard needs mowing oh oh honey the gutter fell down <laughs> you know or my car needs to be taken in service whatever i mean i'm this is my world i love to help i love to take care of things for other, others i love to do that why i'm bent that way i don't know why god put that in me so i was crying out to god for that and eight years later he says go to this school and this is where i'm going to plant you mm -hmm. Um, it just flowed all with that desire in me. So for coming, how did you do this all this time? Because this was the desire God put in my heart yeah. and he has fulfilled that desire. So it is really that simple. I'm not a complex person. I'm not, I'm not here trying to, to build a, I want the mansion and the yachts and the cars. Yeah. Those are all great. That's not my world. Sure. <laughs> I just love to, to live this simple life and I love to, to love other people and, and help them. Uh, it's just that simple. But you've also seen the evolution of Dr. Savelle's ministry from when it was not yeah. a... <laughs> yes. You know, it, it's yes. like we... Still a baby. Yes, well, it's it, it new to the ministry. Not new, but I mean, it was probably yes. like 15 years in when you... 15, 20... When you, you came about? I'm trying to think of when... But it's still uh, 69. It's still yeah. a so, newer ministry. Exactly. Well... You've seen a lot of change. But since I saw this an effective ministry. Yeah. I saw the excellence in the the testimonies of him telling all these stories i'm like going wow i don't want anything less and so when i when god assigned me here it's like going man lord you're this is what i'm desiring mm -hmm. so for me to come alongside and do anything and everything i don't care what it is what did you know if i'm oh you need this fix or you need that painted or you need yeah. whatever it needs to be uh you know so, <laughs> i think it was uh third or fourth year of the school somebody donated ten thousand flats of flowers to mrs savelle <laughs> Wow. wow I'm sorry Ten, what's, a, what's a flat of a flat of flowers is um all the different plants are a flat okay so ten thousand of these I come in so you know what we did we built a lot of flower beds all right <laughs> and you got to get them planted before they die and so what you, you become a plating machine <laughs> so you get this and have you ever done that before not to you that extent. learned to no do I've, that I've, yeah. I've taken care I mean, i've planted things done yeah. things like that, but when they come in that kind of volume you got to know how to logistically <laughs> get this going and get sure. things put in and be efficient well i learned that working at a in the you know at coca-cola on the production line yeah okay yeah, efficiency 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 okay well that's ingrained in me okay here's wasted motion here's these things so you know uh, I get out here and how did you get all that done that quick uh, there's four guys over here doing this and you're doing as much as they I go wasted motions why I, I, to deal with that, I got to race the clock. That's the only way. I hate repet I end. hate repetition. So that's just me. <laughs> I'm so, so in the what was like one of the? I hate to say it this way. Like, yeah, I'm so. What are you about to say? Like, what was like one of the weirdest? It's like, it says, hey, we want to bless your ministry with this, and you're like, oh, what do you yeah. do? With, like, what do you do with this? Like, I'm like, that's I love probably the, in the top ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not wrong. I'm not. Like, no, I there's been the heart behind. Oh, it. there has been so many things come in, and people don't see that side of it. You know, so they see all these things and things that Doctor Fell has. Um, been blessed with and it's like well i've seen a tremendous amount of those things <laughs> uh, we need bigger buildings we need more storage this we is, need yeah. this you know it's like all these things and which somebody, is so amazing yeah. it is so amazing yeah. you just don't think about that <laughs> no yeah. you, you just don't, don't think about and that then we got to take care of those things you got to yeah. maintain those things and um and that was what really led into one of the things about dr savell and said trust i was just here a few short months and uh he's apologized hey scott come over here and um he hands me a key to his shop and he goes, I need you to take care of something here while I'm gone. I said, okay, yes, sir. I go in and take care of it and do it. And it comes back and I, here's your key back. I got this taken care of. And he goes, no, no, you hang on to that. I'm going to have you take care of some other things for me. Wow. I went, 
Um, I don't give anybody a key to anything. <laughs> <laughs> how do you trust somebody? You really don't. Yeah. I mean, I've only been here a few short months. And I asked him, how do you trust somebody like that? And he goes, well, you, the Lord told me I, you're the man I need to trust with this, and you have the gifting that needs to be done. I need you to do these things for me. I trust you. I said, well, I'll tell you right now, you don't know how precious that is to me. Yeah. That I'll never violate that. And he, and he said, I'm going to take you at your word, and I believe you won't. That's awesome. And so I he had trusted me and has over all these years with everything his, yeah. everything he has. Mm-hmm. You, you, you operate in that place of I will never violate something because you, once you violate that, it's gone. It, you can never restore that. Absolutely. You know, it might be restored to a certain place, but there's always going to be that out of socket. Yep. So I felt honored all these years to be able to do something that's very important to me in that is to operate that with somebody and they have that trust. So that was precious to me mm-hmm. and uh, to have him just uh, have that confidence and that rest that i'm watching his back i'm watching all these things while he's gone that this is taken care of that to the best of my ability was i 100 percent successful no there's just so much volume of things of yeah. doing everything that you do the best you can and then that's where his graciousness come in it's got yeah. i know you got a lot on your plate scott just you know well dr Smith, i didn't get this done and uh, Miss Savell had something come up, and we needed to go take care of that. When she's starting on a project, she wants to start to finish it. Mm-hmm. We're going to start to finish it. And when he, why? Because when he comes back, she goes, Jerry, come look <laughs> at what I did for you. And here he comes in, and he goes, oh, wow, look what you did. That was so important. That's, the, that's their inner part there, mm-hmm. the, that peace level. of the, their, When they come home, that this is their place of peace. You know, you have all these demands of everything coming on you. What can I do to help ensure that peace in that place? This is my favorite place to go to listen to God. What can I do to protect that, to make sure that that's, that's where amazing. he wants it? Yeah. And to have that in that way that I didn't get this done. And he said, don't worry about that, Scott. She comes first. Mm. I'll take But Dr. Swell, you, you, you have things here that you need taken care of, too. And, and so... I would always feel, I fell short. I felt I didn't get something accomplished and I'm doing the best I can. And he's so gracious. He just said, no, I know, I know how much you put into yeah. everything here. And just that, that he's the kindest, most gentle man I think I've ever known in my life to that degree. And I just um, love and appreciate that in him. So um, I just, um, I know him. Mm-hmm. I know him but I know him and that's that's the part that I um, can really say that I miss the most yeah because so, it was the genuineness of, I, I was here at the church working out in the parking lot there um, I think we had some trenches we were putting in some electrical infrastructure and at that time, I didn't have a lot of help, so uh, I outsourced. I had somebody coming in and helping with that, and we're in the ditches. And he drives up, gets out of his vehicle, and comes over. What have we got going, guys? <laughs> and I said, oh, we're putting this in, this, this. And he goes, all right. He reached down and grabs this guy's hand, and it's muddy, dirty. I mean, we're working. He reached down, he just wipes it off. He goes, oh, and shakes. Hi, I'm Jerry Savelle. Thank you for coming out and help us get this going. And he doesn't jump in his vehicle and take off. He stands around and talks with us for 15, 20 minutes, you know. Yeah. And this guy sits back after he leaves. He goes, who was that? He goes, that's the president of Jerry Savelle Ministries. He goes, wow, I'm nobody. <laughs> and he spent yeah. time with me. And I go, he's the real deal. And I said, what you just experienced, he could actually be leaving this afternoon or tomorrow or this week going to a foreign country, and he could be sitting with a king of a country or a president of a nation. What? I go, this is the kind, he's the real deal with every person he's with. And that's the way God is. Yeah. There's not any one of us that's less important. Well, you take care of that. You're out of this. Get out. You know, we're going to deal with the importance. Get out of the way. You know, not with Dr. Savell. So, since his, you know, passing, what has your, how has your position and what you do transitioned, if any? Uh, not any. Um, this is still what I'm called to do. Um, um, serving Miss Savell in the same way. Uh, I'm still serving Dr. Savelle. Right. Uh, yeah. And serving Mrs. Savelle. Take care of her. And so she comes first. So that's, and she's leading this ministry, continuing the vision and the, the 
uh, the legacy of this mission, this vision, it's uh, still going strong, still continues, and it's going to go greater. Uh, I am. I have high expectations yeah. of this continuous. It's not going to stop in and go, um, well, what are we doing now? <laughs> yeah. You know, so many ministries have just shut down and liquidate and give other ministries their, you know, their things that they're doing and uh, pass that on that way. Uh, but this is continuing. Mm-hmm. So it's a vital part to the body. So speaking of vision, the vision on our house The vision that we carry is making winners in life. And on every episode, we ask what that means to our guests. So we want to ask you what making winners in life means to you. To have a revelation of the reality of God that I'm the most important to him. Dr. Svell said so many times, he's God's favorite. And he'd also clarify, he said, but you're God's favorite. Yeah. And the, the reality of that, once you realize that you are so important to God that he's done all of this for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he saved the world. No, I am the world. You're the world. He has made it that. He's so big that we can't even comprehend the magnitude of the billions of people that have lived and the billions of people that still live mm-hmm. that were individually the most important to him. Uh, that makes us a winner because once i identify that i'm that precious important to him that he's not he's not going to hold anything back that he's going to do anything and everything in his power he has everything in place for us and he just says will you trust me will you let me you don't have to do any of this i've done it all for you will you just let me do it we there's nothing we can't accomplish there's nothing we can't do if we identify with that that key foundational thing that god is really that intent on knowing me he knows me better than i know myself yeah. he says we don't even know ourselves this is the heart is deceitful above all things wait a minute all uh, he's more deceit our heart's more deceitful than the devil what yeah he knows me better than i know myself and when he reveals something to me and i'm refusing to acknowledge he loves me enough to show me that and not let go of it until I re- release it to him. And then we can surrender that to him. And we go, how was I so stupid? <laughs> you love me this much. Why am I not trusting you? Why can't I release this? Why can't I, why can't I let this go? Why is it more important what this is or if someone thinks of me or they're talking about me or they missed the promotion or whatever? I said, there's only one thing that fulfills us and that's him. And he fulfills it. He gives us everything in our heart, the desire, and then he fulfills that desire. It's all him. It's all yeah. him. It's all yeah. him. All him. And that's that will make us a winner in life. That's great. I, we say this all the time. What are you? You're about to say it. I know I do, you're about to say I it. I love these answers. It. I love this question <laughs> because I love hearing. This and they're always, I have never heard that before. That's the first one like that. And that's, again, that's why I love it's it. so good. It's, it's, I, it's one of the best things we do on this podcast yeah. is that question. And I thank you. Your response was yes. amazing. It was wonderful. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for yeah. taking the time to sit with sure. us and be Absolutely. on the podcast. It was good. This is, I love this. And I love meeting the people that are, that are close at this. So yeah. much consistency in, in his integrity and his character. Right. And like, it truly is this legacy series is just that it's the legacy of what he is and who he was and mm-hmm. who he impacted around him it's just yeah. it's just amazing to sit back and hear it yeah it's a reflection of he's the most important to god yeah he understood and had that revelation of the intimacy that god was desiring to have with him and then he shared that with us yeah you know and that example gives us real life experiences him telling stories of all these things here gives us application that we can identify with. I don't know how many people, man, when he started talking about motorcycles, I was all in. <laughs> or I was talking about hot rods. I'm all in. Why? Because he was, you know, loved and enjoys that. Yeah. Other people, you know, he would talk about um, maybe something in a professional realm of, uh, you know, whatever, boxing? Or yeah. Okay, whatever. You know, it's, uh, you know, talking about different uh, situations he was in with uh, individuals, uh, corporate leaders, whatever. And they're like, you know, football players. I mean, he went and I don't know how many teams he's 
spoke with, prayed over these individuals, uh, sheriff's departments that gave him honorary things. Why? Because he went in and imparted to them. Yeah. You know, it's just you. What he experienced and God opening up doors for him in favor, just really. I don't know really many places that somebody couldn't identify with. Mm -hmm. And what a testimony of that impartation and then reality of the one thing that's important is yeah. your relationship with him. Yes. And this is the tools and the things you need to have to be successful in that. I'm so thankful that this is where God planted me. Yeah. I'm so thankful because this was, this was the desire of my heart. I want to serve and help in something like this that is doing that kind of uh, effective work in the kingdom of God mm -hmm. that we're not just sitting here playing church and no. and uh, yeah. patting ourselves on the shoulder. <laughs> we're doing a good job and you know and we're giving ourselves all the accolades and you know and everybody else is sitting here going yeah but I know what you're doing on the other side of that you know yeah. it's not real no this is real this is this the real is the deal, deal. Yeah, it is absolutely the real deal. thanks so much yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get fired up in these conversations. I love it. I, it's, it's so, I, again, I love these. Yeah. these are so, you get really fired up. Yes. Well, thank you so much You're for joining us. And thank you everyone for listening. We're still doing this legacy series. So if you missed anything, go back on YouTube, Instagram, Spotify, YouTube. Instagram, all the socials, all yes. the things. And tune Apple in podcast, next week. <laughs> all of them. Yeah, there's like a million. Anyways, we're tune everywhere in next you want to listen week for more winning conversations. <laughs>